I'm here with Tom Gillard, the reigning Fireball World Champion on the Allen Stand at the RYA Suzuki Dinghy Show. First of all, Tom, how did you get into sailing in the first place? Well, I got into sailing um, with my dad um, from a young age, about uh, three or four years old. Um, initially sailing mirrors um, and then on to like, enterprises and such. Um, my dad has been sailing for a very long time and um, it's just a bit of an obvious thing to do. Excellent. Now, 2015 was an extremely successful season for you, starting off with the Bloody Mary win at the beginning of the year. How do you go about a race like that where you have so many boats out on the water? Uh, just sail as hard as you can all the way around. Just don't let up, don't, don't think about your position until the last few minutes of the race. And then you went into the Streakers and you won that championship as well. Tell me a bit about that one. Uh, that one was um, a windy event, had to be quite heavy for it and um, just, just hike really hard. At the Fireball World Championships you had a great battle the entire way through. Um, how, what did it come down to in the end? What do you think it was that made the difference to turn it into a championship win? Uh, I thought that it was all in the last, obviously the last day. Um, we had a real battle with a couple of others, um, also on the Allen Brothers team. Um, really having a big match race. Um, we managed to uh, break free of their, uh, some of their manoeuvres and um, managed to sail. Um, a pretty free race, actually. So. Talking of Allen Brothers, um, you've been working with the company for a while. What do you find about their hardware that um, helps you during championships? Well, they're just so reliable. Um, you just know, nothing ever goes wrong with them, so there's just no need to worry so you can focus purely on the race. Excellent. And outside um, of your championship sailing, what do you do to relax? Uh, I sail, sail more. I sail um, Musto skiffs as well, um, just because it's something that I can't do. So. Brilliant. So you just use that as a toy for sailing? You don't actually compete in it? Just uh, I, Well, I'm going to be competing in it, but not, not full. So at the moment, just going out for a blast? Yeah, just going, going out for a blast, Excellent. enjoying it. And the dinghy show, um, here we are, and it's packed to the rafters with grassroots sailors and every enthusiast you want. What do you think it is about the dinghy show that attract, attract, attracts people here? Well, it's just that you just see all, all your friendly faces and um, everybody just bands together. You, you must, with being involved in so many classes, do you, do you, do you just see all of your people that you race against here? You must be stopped yeah, all the time. Absolutely, yeah. I just. One, literally wandered just around the corner and I'll be talking for, to an hour for someone. And what have you got lined up for the 2016 season? Um, I'm going to be doing the uh, Fiber Worlds um, in Weymouth. Um, also the Fireballs again, we'll be doing all the events there. Um, um, we're going to be doing the Streakers, we're going to do the Solo Nationals um, and also the Musto Worlds. Okay, so you've got a little bit lined up. Um, with that, how do you adapt when you're switching between classes? Surely you have to be different weights and the different styles of sailing between them. Yeah, you have to fluctuate your weight quite heavily. You like fluctuate about 10 kilos either way. So just making sure that you're right weight for it is definitely, definitely key. Um, and, and the little niggles and how you sail them, each of them. And do you find you have to spend time adapting between them and, and doing a few days practice in that class? Or can you just jump into a boat and sail it fast out of the box? Um, generally not. It's a lot more work than you probably think. Um, just, there's just so many different things on each boat. It's just a, a lot going on. Yeah, so it's, so it's just spending the time yeah, I've got and to hard spend work. A lot of time okay. in each boat, a lot of training. Well, Tom, best of luck for the 2016 season and many thanks for your time. Thank you very much.